Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan and I am back again with another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial video. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to do good looking slow motion like this. Okay, so first things first, we need to get down here in our lower left uh, corner. And as you can see, up here where my mouse is, we're in the editing tab. We need to right click and we need to import the clips, the raw video clips that we're working with. And here are mine. I already have them in a folder. Now I'm going to click import. And those are going to load in. And so um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of different ways that you can get that um, slow motion look and feel that I just showed you guys. And so um, the first one is is um, actually I'm gonna show you three different ways the first one is we'll just take this first clip and we're going to drag it into our timeline I always click keep existing settings on that and uh, we're going to find the part to where we want the slow motion so I'm just kinda scrubbing forward here in the timeline and I'm going to say we'll start right about here and so you can either um, drag from the front of your video to right there to start or you can hit command K on your keyboard to do a cut and then you can highlight the part you don't want and hit the delete button so we know that the very first of this is where we want to start our slow motion and then I'll have it stop about right there and so you can either drag bot back right there or you can hit command K on your keyboard click the part you don't want and delete it now I'm not going to use the audio with this because once you slow down um, footage with audio attached it also slows down the audio too which doesn't really sound that good or impressive as you saw we put music to it so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to click on the bottom and I'm going to hit command L which unlinks the video to where now we can click on the audio and we can hit the delete button on our keyboard and say goodbye to the audio so now that we have this clip still in regular motion now keep in mind guys I shot this on a Sony a7s 2 and I shot this at 120 frames per second and for any of you guys that know anything about slow motion the whole key to getting good crisp buttery smooth fluid slow motion is a high frame rate so 30 frames per second, 24 frames per second, it's just really not gonna cut it as far as getting good um, slow motion. You at least want to have 60. Um, there are, uh, and 48 will do a decent job, but 60 is about what you really need, guys. So 60, 96, 120, 240, the higher the frame rate, the better. But also keep in mind that usually the higher the frame rate um, means that you have to compromise and you're going to lose a little bit of resolution and quality. So now that I got that out of the way, we're going to finally get this clip into slow motion. So the first way, one of three ways I'm going to show you that you can do slow motion, is you right click on the clip in the timeline here and you're going to see speed and duration. Now we're showing this at 100% speed so what happens if we type in 50 we only want to show this clip at 50% speed we're going to click OK and now as you'll see here if we push on uh, our spacebar to play it look how that slows that down and you just get that good buttery smooth slow-mo okay so that's cool that's the very first way that you can get slow motion now let's move on to another clip let's go to our second clip here and this is a second way that you can get slow motion same thing as the first time you just drag the clip in and again I'm going to click I'm going to hit command L to unlink my video from my my audio from my video click on the audio hit delete say goodbye to it now I'm gonna scrub through here and find the part of the slow motion that I want to use and let's get about right here right about here and we're going to uh, hit command K to do a cut get rid of that and let's say we want the slow motion to end about right there right about there and I'm just gonna drag back okay so now we have our clip just at regular speed so now what we're going to do is for the second way that you can do slow-mo is you can actually hit the R key on your keyboard which if you'll watch my cursor here see how it's just a regular mouse when I hit R 
it changes to this other little icon with a red uh, uh, catty corner looking line, not horizontal, not vertical. And once you have, once it switches to that icon, you go to the edge of the clip and you'll notice it changes a little bit and then you can drag. And what this is doing is this is like, think of it as taffy, you're stretching it apart. And now, um, as you can see, the clip is longer now. So now we're gonna hit V to get back to our regular editing tool. Now I'm gonna hit spacebar and you see how that is in slow motion. Now you can make, you could stretch this out as far as you wanted to, but the thing is, if you don't have a really high frame rate and you stretch it out that far, see how it's just a little bit shaky and jittery? It just really doesn't look that good. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to go back on my keyboard and we're just gonna keep it about right there at that slow motion that I put it at. So that's the second way that you can achieve doing slow motion on Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's look at the final and last way. So clip two, clip five, clip three. I got kind of out of order here, but we can fix it here in a minute. This is a third way. You can right click while it's here in uh, the project bin part down here. You can right click and you're going to click on modify, or not click on, but highlight modify, then go to interpret footage. Now, yes, you can see, I told you guys I shot in 120 frames per second, as you can see there. We're going to select this, select this, and we're going to click, assume this frame rate is 29, which is basically I shoot at 30 frames per second. It's always just right there below, so 29. And that basically changes it to 50% speed as well. And now when you drag this video over, it's already going to be in the frame rate that you, or the speed you wanna use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scrub through here we're gonna find the part that we wanna use, and I'm gonna start about right there, and I'm going to hit I on my keyboard for input, so that's where I want the in part, and then let's go to about right there, and then I'm gonna hit O on my keyboard for output, and you'll see it has this little part. We, don't, we only want the uh, video, not the audio. If I were to click here and drag the whole thing, it'd do audio and video. If I were to click here, it would just do audio and drag. If I were to click here and drag, it'll just do video. So as you can see here, we hit spacebar and we haven't right clicked here like these other two, it's already done because we did our settings over here. So I'm gonna hit spacebar. And as you can see, he's walking in a very nice, smooth, slow motion. And so anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna do the third method to these other couple of clips and then we will put this all together with music and uh, that's how we got the video that you saw at the beginning. So now we're going to go to, uh, let's see, we did, now we're doing six. And we're gonna right click, modify, interpret footage, change to 29. And then I'm gonna find the part I wanna use. I'm just gonna say about right there, in, I for in, o, oops, O for out, I accidentally goofed up and fat fingered keyboard. I, so in and I, then we're just gonna drag the video only. We have that clip down there. And then we're going to do the very last one. Right click, modify interpret footage. Assume this frame rate is 29. Okay. Find the part we wanna use. Let's just do it right here where his hand's fixing to touch the rack here of this buck. And out. Now we're just gonna drag the video down. Okay guys, so now let's put an audio track in here. Okay, so I have in, uh, imported the audio track I'm going to use. I'm gonna drag over here. And then what I wanna do is, is I'm gonna, I'm real, uh, I wanna make sure I put this stuff to uh, music, to the beat, it kinda flows to the music. So we're listening here. Right there on that hit, uh, that's where I wanna start the video. So I'm gonna put this very first piece right here. So as you can see, it's gonna, stop right there and then we're going to put the next clip right by it okay now the next clip I actually need that to go a little bit longer go with the music so I'm dragged to that line there where I stopped it then the next clip And then I'm gonna drag back. So see, I've just kind of got 
about where I want it and then I sometimes I have to make the clips a little longer show the clip a little longer a little shorter than Okay, and I let that clip go a little long because I'm going to fade out to black. So I'm going to right click here, apply default transitions, click here. And this is my fade out, which I've already covered in a previous tutorial video. So as you can see what that's going to do, is it's going to just fade to black. And then we'll do the same with the music. We'll cut the music, command K on our keyboard, click here, delete, right click, apply default transitions, and we're doing another fade. So now let's get this looking a little bit better. And guys, I'm not going to go into hardcore details about color grading. Um, on this video, I'll do a separate color grading video. But real quick, I'm just going to uh, add an adjustment layer. And uh, we're going to just do a little bit of color grading on this. Again, this is a slow-mo video, so uh, don't, don't sweat it or too much if you don't understand what I'm doing. And... Uh, just gonna color grade it real quick just to show you guys how I truly got the video that I showed you guys at the first of this. And let's do 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 do. Let's do that and then let's go into saturation and let's take the saturation down a little bit. That'll probably look pretty good. So, and then the last thing I'm going to do is add um, the little black bars that you see um, in some cinematic uh, videos. So now that I have those imported, I'm just going to drag these over the adjustment layer. And as you can see, guys, if you look, now there's black bar here, black bar there, as opposed to nothing at all. It just makes it look a little more cinematic. So now all we're going to do is hit render. Let's go to the end and hit our out point. Hit O on our keyboard and then I at the beginning, file, export, media. And then we're going to keep it H.264 in the format. I always do H, YouTube 1080p HD. And then we will just put this on our desktop and we'll call it slow motion. And export. So there you have it, guys. Um, that's all you. Those are the three different ways that you can achieve um, good-looking slow motion on Adobe Premiere Pro. And again, it's very important to up your frame rate as high as you can to get good, buttery, smooth slow motion. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe as I will have a lot more Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial videos upcoming. As always, this is Dylan. Have a great day, guys.